The National Speech and Debate Association awards debaters who are members of the NSDA Honor Society for their participation and success in competitive debate and other speaking activities. The organization recognizes degrees of accomplishment. This year, Emma Kai reached the level of distinction by earning more than 300 points. Ben Motes, Seamus O'Connor Walker, Anu Lamsal, Hannah Lee, Sylvia Idinian, and Susanna McHitaryan were awarded special distinction for winning more than 500 career points to date. Helen Hu and Dakshina Podale achieved superior distinction with over 750 points. All eight of the Varsity Public Forum debaters were very successful at tournaments over the year. Ben and Seamus were the champions of the Johnston Invitational Tournament and also qualified for the National Tournament of Champions, the TOC Silver. Sylvia and Susanna also qualified for the TOC Silver and the NSDA National Tournament. Helen Hu and Dakshina Podale were the champions of the Turnevelt, Roosevelt High School's annual Invitational and the four Ames High teams took the top four spots in the Riggle Division of Public Forum Debate at the Iowa High School Speech Association's state tournament. Anu Lamsal and Hannah Lee were the state champions this year. I'm Connie Ringley, one of the three coaches for the speech program. The other two coaches are Judy Anderson and Becky Riker. And this year we were fortunate to have three um, groups uh, or individuals selected for Allstate. In the large group category, uh, we had a musical theater group. Uh, and in that group were Garrett Van Dyke, Hannah Wigdahl, Lauren Berger, Josh Garten, Isabel Palachek, and Jacob Peters. In individual events, uh, we had two young women selected for Allstate. First of all, Natalie Bretty, who um, performed solo musical theater, and Elena Andrews, who uh, performed poetry for the third straight years. Um, Natalie wasn't able to perform at Allstate because she moved with her family to Scotland. Uh, Elena was selected three straight years in poetry, so we're very proud of these two women. And um, the speech program is going to be around, even though I am retiring this year, and it's been a wonderful 20-year run. Uh, this award is for the 2018 Academic All-Americans being recognized at our high school this year. Uh, the, currently, there are over 342,000 student athletes involved in aquatics at the high school level and over 16,000 programs for boys and girls. Approximately 2% of these student athletes are recognized as high school Academic All-Americans. This year, Ames High had a record-setting number of Academic All-Americans. On the girls' side, we had Jesse Bayuth, Marina Lon, Ella Glenn, Kaylee Clendenin, Chaz and Horace, Olivia Jenks, Sophie Sorensen, Tinshi Shu. On the boys team, we had Michael Holm, Seamus O'Connor Walker, Tamron Paulson, Philip Ma, James Bentley, and Shoma Zabo. Congratulations to these graduating seniors for their outstanding GPAs and being recognized as an academic All-American through the National Interscholastic Swimming Coaches Association of America. On Thursday, March 22nd, 10 Ames High students participated in the 2018 State Science and Technology Fair of Iowa event at Iowa State. Students participating in SSTFI learn a variety of skills through the creating, investigating, and presenting phases of their projects, including planning, implementation, problem solving, inquiry, and communication. The participating students were Senior Marina Lan, Juniors, Sarah Arbuckle and Amy Sir, Helen Hu, Kajun Kim, Kiara Traverset, and sophomores, Pooja Kasavaswanathan, Abigail Tibbin, David Kim, and freshman, Arunadi Fernando. 
A special congratulations go to Marina Land, who was the top WISA for Western Iowa Science and Engineering Fair project finalist, and to Sarah Arbuckle and Amy Sir, who are one of the three STFI project finalists. All three ladies will present their research at the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair in Pittsburgh this May. Best of luck to both projects. The Scholastic Art and Writing Award seeks to honor the early promise of some of our nation's most devoted young artists. Alumni of the Writing Awards include literary luminaries such as Truman Capote, Sylvia Plath, and Stephen King. Five Ames High students were selected for regional awards this year. Sophomore Sylvia Idenyan won a silver key in poetry and a silver key in critical essay writing. Sophomore Hannah Huang won a gold key in personal essay memoir writing and a gold key in flash fiction. Senior Dana Gustafson garnered multiple awards for her poetry this year, including two silver keys and two gold keys. She earned the Gold Key American Voices honor for a poem entitled, Too Much. In addition to the regional winners, Scholastic re recognized two AHS students with national awards. Junior Lucas Wiley received a gold key and the gold key American Voices honor regionally, and he has been nationally recognized with a silver medal for journalism for his Life Without Elective story. And finally, sophomore Amy Guan earned the region's highest honor for her work. In addition to receiving a gold key in poetry and a silver key in personal essay memoir writing, Amy's poetry was recognized by the national judges as some of the finest writing in the nation, and she was awarded a gold medal. Amy will travel to New York City in June to receive a medal at Carnegie Hall for her work. National medalists such as Amy are considered to be among the top 1% of student writers and artists in the nation. Congratulations to all these winners. Since 1988, the Bernie Sagow Award has been given to, in the words of the award, a graduating student athlete who best exemplifies a patriotic spirit with strong moral convictions living and professing the qualities of honesty, integrity, and sportsmanship, believing that both games and life should be conducted by the rules. This year's winner is Joe Evans. Joe, this is a great honor for you from the coaches of Ames High. You are to be congratulated for the example you set in athletics and your day-to-day -day activities at Ames High. Congratulations, Joe. On Saturday, October 21st of 2017, over 4,800 of Iowa's finest high school musicians were auditioned for spots in the 2017 All-State Music Festival. Students prepared audition material and then performed for a judge who evaluated them in several categories. 28 Ames High students were selected to perform in one of three musical ensembles. All students from across the state who were selected assembled in Ames in November to rehearse and perform a concert at Hilton Coliseum. Fourteen Ames High students performed with the All-State Band, ten performed with the All-State Orchestra, and four with the All-State Chorus. Nicole Kreider is the recipient of the PEO Star Scholarship. This $2,500 scholarship, established in 2009, is for graduating senior women to attend an accredited post-secondary educational institution in the United States or Canada. Nicole was selected by a local PEO chapter and nominated for this international award. This scholarship is for women who exhibit excellence in leadership, extracurricular activities, community service, and show potential for future success. Nicole, your hard work, personal achievements, and community outreach were noticed and appreciated. Congratulations on this fine award.
The National Technical Honor Society honors the achievements of top career and technical education students, provides scholarships to encourage the pursuit of higher education, and cultivates excellence in today's highly competitive, skilled workforce. Ames High's Kevin Maxwell and Summer Mohammed have been selected as members of the National Technical Honor Society, demonstrating leadership and achievement in business and marketing initiatives. Congratulations to Kevin and Summer. The following are the candidates for the U.S. Presidential Scholars Program. Ryan Zhang, Melissa Liu, Caroline Paxton, and Tenshi Shu. The following were the semifinalists and finalists in the 2018 competition for National Merit Scholarships. Nicole Cho, Samuel Packard, Lena Andrews, Hector Arbuckle, Emma Kai, Channing Chi, Donna Gustafson, Ryan Zhang, Rucha Kelkar, Melissa Liu, Caroline Paxton, Benjamin Stewart, and Tin Shi Shu. The art department has lots to celebrate this year. There are so many hardworking and talented students taking art classes at Ames High School. This spring, 46 advanced art students went to Chicago to explore the art museums. Following that adventure, 30 students were taken to the conference art show in Fort Dodge and lots of students received awards there. Beyond conference art show, students entered in a variety of contests and did very well. Jamie Zhang, Malie Bilstead, and Kaylee Fuqua were selected for Allstate based on their art portfolios. In addition, Jamie Zhang was honored at the Des Moines Women's Club. Yair Zhu and Evan Lewis were chosen for best of grade 9 and grade 11 in Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. Many meaningful projects were done in the art wing this year. 16 art students participated in the Memory Project. This year they drew and sent portraits for disadvantaged youth in Poland. Overall, lots of wonderful, wonderful things have been happening and continue to happen with Ames High Art. <laughs> 